guys. We're here at the St. Augustine Distillery. Uh, we're actually about to do a, a tour. Um, do you have your ticket? Yep. Yeah, it is. I'll give you this. It's free. Uh, you have some samples around the tour as well, too. I don't know how long it is, but we'll if we can record, uh, we'll definitely uh, we'll definitely record for you guys. Um, it's been amazing so far. It's been a good trip. Yeah. Okay. So, see you guys soon. <laughs> you don't have to. Okay? All of our cocktails today are going to follow the same recipe, which is one part liquor, which today is two ounces. If you're at your bar at home, you can make a part however big you want it. <laughs> and we're going to add to this our Florida Mule Mixer. This is all natural ingredients. This is our recipe just for our Florida Mule here at the distillery. There are six ingredients in this, all natural. I can spell them all, I can say them all. The first one is water, because you've got to stay hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> then we add fresh ginger juice, lime from concentrate, spices, and at the end a little kick of cayenne for our mule kick. So that's going in here also at one part, one to one. Now, all of our mixers are natural. It will keep in your fridge for two to three weeks once you open that bottle up. If you have it longer than three weeks, you're not having enough parties. <laughs> <laughs> now, we got, I'm going back to Prohibition days, and I'm gonna put my ice in this cotton bag called a Lewis bag, named after Mr. Lewis, who invented it, okay? And this 
bag is going to do a very important job for us. It's going to absorb the water that I'm going to make when I crush this ice. This is the loud part of my tour, okay? <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> and you're going to see what a fine job this cotton bag does. If you're doing this at your home bar, just don't do it on a glass top table. <laughs> now I'm going to do my favorite bartender trick. Pinky's out. I'm going to homogenize your drink. And that is a fancy word for stir. <laughs> and it adds $3 to your bar tab. <laughs> All of our recipes are one part mixer, one part liquor, and two parts carbonated water. Okay, and you can get this for your home bar again, right at the grocery store. Try and get the one without sodium because you don't want to add that to your drink. It's unnecessary. And now we need to garnish. On a traditional Moscow meal, they use lime. We're going to use fresh ginger today. Okay, and I'm going to take that little mint leaf on a trip around the mug. And now that it's ready for a drink. Ah, or a picture. How's that? Because y'all can't drink out of that one. <laughs> we may take this picture. Hey! All right, I'm gonna pour, you're gonna drink. We're gonna do this like a swarm. Mm, it smells so good. That's really smooth. Can you get one? How do you like it? It's smooth, right? Yeah. This is really good, dude. It's really good. Wow. It's good. Our gin is 94 proof. It's also our highest decorated spirit. All right, we've won 38 awards for our gin. Including two years in a row, best craft gin in America by USA Today. And our friends of mine say that their their best ever gin and tonic was up at the ice plant restaurant. Okay, so they make a fabulous gin. We're pairing it today with a grapefruit hibiscus mixer. There's only three ingredients there. I just told you two of them. And the third one is Florida cane sugar to sweeten it up just a little because our gin is very citrusy. All right, this is going to be like sipping a garden, y'all. Not like licking a pine tree. I promise. That pretty color comes from the hibiscus extract, all right? <laughs> One part of our bourbon, 
But you know what? It's Friday. Yeah. What are we And all fashions are designed to be strong to tamp down the heat of bourbon. But by all means, you can make your own recipe. If you want stronger, add more bourbon, sweeter, add more mix. If you like texture, play with club sodas, even bitters, garnishes. Really customize this, folks. So we're going to fold some ice in here for about 15 to 20 seconds. That'll cool your cocktail down, but also melt just the surface of that ice. Now, cold water will really make that bourbon sing, really make it bloom, and add a nice satiny texture that a good old fashioned is known for. And there you have it, guys a perfect, delicious, and consistent old fashioned. Open yeah. up one. There we go. <laughs> All right, guys. So that is our tour for the St. Augustine Distillery. Uh, it's it's fantastic. The information they give you a little bit of hit, actually a lot of history on the background of like where it, how it began um, and what it was before it became this uh, distillery. Sorry. Uh, and they give you free samples at the end, and you kind of just keep asking for them. Um, everything here was like really really smooth. It was, it was I enjoyed it a lot. It was really cool. We did pick up some stuff. <laughs> so. yeah. So I did get this. So you guys have a price. It's a uh, vodka, vodka, mule mix, and a mule mug. It was seventy-one dollars. So each, everything by itself was the same price as seventy-one. So I just got the bundle. Everything's in one. And then I got my dad a cup. Yeah. He um he loves this place, so it'd be nice to actually kind of. Meaning Saint Augustine. Yeah, get him something with Saint Augustine on it. Yeah, that is uh that's our video for. Distillery. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like and subscribe if you like the videos. If not, then sorry. <laughs> but uh, that is all for today, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.